Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I totally screwed up today. Not sure if anybody can come on, but... Hold on, guys. Just trying to fix this, guys. Not sure if people are getting on this one. Sorry, guys. The first link is screwed. Kent says I'm here. I, I click something. And I killed my last stream. Hold on, guys. Let me just get this squared away. I'm trying to find. Here we go. Here's the live link. Trying to find. Here we go. Here's the live link. To find. Here we go. Okay. So. Yeah, I did start a new live. Like I clicked something and it killed. It killed my last live stream. So I'm just trying to give this to my girl, the new link, so she can get it to people who are having issues. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. All right, guys. Sorry. My bad. All right. So if you guys can hear me, one second, man. I got, let me put a shirt on. I'm like kind of. <laughs> oh god a lot of crazy things going on guys a lot of crazy things going on sorry for being late i mean i'm literally like on the phone on the internet i'm getting flights you guys might think i'm crazy but i'm going to japan tomorrow to be with my family so as you know, with all of this craziness going on, borders are getting shut down. Uh, my wife and kid in Japan right now, they really don't want to come here because my disabled daughter has a routine going on in Japan and like things are good there and all of that. And so if they can't come here, I'm like, all right, I'm flying out. So it's like a last minute deal. I didn't even get my tickets yet. I'm like in the middle of trying to get my tickets. And then I'm like, what? I forgot my YouTube live like 40 minutes ago. So that's what's going on. I'm trying to get tickets and fly out to Japan literally Sunday at the latest. Um, hopefully Saturday or maybe even tomorrow. I don't know yet. But that's what's going on here. Hope everyone's safe. Hope everyone is doing okay with um, with what's going on. This is like a crazy thing going on. I don't know where you guys stand on it. Um, if you're on the far left or the right or however you got, whatever your position is or your point of view. Great audio, video, not so much. Thank you, Kent. Save Tony and my wife are moving to Houston, Texas next month. Craziness. Yeah. Tim Lang, where are you moving from? <clears throat> but guys, I mean, I know this is the auto body channel. We're supposed to be talking about, well, not the channel. The channel is like everything now, but the live stream here is supposed to be auto body. But let's just talk about what's going on for a little bit. I mean, I'm concerned about all of us it's not just me or my family it's everybody else it's you guys you know i mean a lot of crazy stuff going on you know i mean they're estimating millions of americans are going to be jobless i mean my neighbors are home like these guys are never home you know the people who live downstairs are home i see like people are like not even going out it's crazy guys it's crazy so just be prepared. You know, I saw a meme the other day. It was like Tom Hanks with like a face like that saying um, something like about you can't laugh at the preppers now or something like that. I forgot. I forgot what the meme was, but it was about you're not laughing at preppers now, are you? But um, I mean, I'm prepped here. I got a, I got a lot of stuff here in Honolulu. Um, 
I have a lot of stuff in Texas, but when I go to Japan, I'm going to be starting all over again. But they say it's not as bad in Japan. I think I think we are going to get hit in the U.S. here very, very hard soon. I think it's it's coming very bad. I just hope I'm wrong. I just hope things get better as soon as possible because don't we just all want to get back to where things were? I mean, this is just getting crazy. <clears throat> so, Polka Face is like on the extreme level over there. Who the hell knows what's going to happen, guys? It's bad in the USA already, but I think it can get a lot worse. So, I don't know, guys. Just protect yourselves. Be with your family. Um, I've been driving by like a few gun shops here. And like line line out the door, people waiting. Like they're taking people in a little at a time because they don't want, I guess, the raid in the gun shop. So two medical people I know, nurses said it's the flu. We already had it. So I don't know. There's a lot of different angles and stories and theories. And I just... Personally, I just don't believe everything our government is telling us. That's just me personally. I mean, you know, I think there's a bigger reason behind it. You know, there's a bigger reason behind all of it. I think I think there's a lot of people making millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars behind all of this through knowing what stocks to short you know, just manipulating the market. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes, guys. And I don't know if you guys seen that they had a simulation of this a few months ago. I think it was like October or November on a pan pandemic breakout. And it was um, part of Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Um, and I think he's behind a lot of what's going on as well. So I don't know, guys. That's just what I think. I'm sure a lot of you guys have your own little ideas of what's going on, you know, but hopefully it just passes by, you know, hopefully we'll see playing with some slime here. But other than that, I hope everyone's doing good. What's new on your end? Like, give me some updates from you guys. I just got over a bad cough. And fluid in the lungs for two months, but it was not a virus. I was checked at the hospital. A lot of hungry people will be the hazard. They didn't carry on like this with all the other illnesses like swine flu or mad cow. I totally agree. And <clears throat> and um, I think the media is really doing a good job blowing this out of proportion. You know, because there's some sort of agenda behind it. You know, the swine flu was a lot worse. It killed a lot more people. But look what they're doing, man. They're closing countries down. You know, they're closing cities down. They're bringing in medical ships over to New York. I mean, this is a this is a big thing. This is a big thing. You know, it's definitely something's going on something we don't know the real real what's going on in back of everything here you know there there are some strings there's strings being pulled on the puppets you know 51% of the go governor says 51% of California will get this and I don't know. Also, what constitutes that you have the virus? Could it be a strain like a friend of mine thinks that the test kits are all rigged, you know, that, that there is no virus out there and it's just a, a regular strain of flu. And I don't know. I, I It's hard to, to know, you know, because we don't know the facts and there's so much information out there, guys. You know, fake news, whatever you want to call it. There's always and I think right now in this time in history, there is so much news, more than we've ever had. There's alternative news, there's this news, that news, YouTube channels, the mainstream media, which is probably feeding us the most bogus crap. You know, it's very hard to come to a conclusion. I think 
that's kind of what they want. They want people in hysteria. They want people panicking, you know, because when all of us, when we are all panicking and can't think and home isolation, social distancing is a new word now, social isolation, you know, it just, it just drives people crazy, you know, martial law. Yep. So I think we just need to really, uh, I think it's also important for us to stay calm because I do think that I do think it'll pass after the higher ups or whoever is doing this accomplish what they want, you know? And I also heard that it, this is a big test. It's a rollout to see how well they can control the population, control the masses to control the sheeple. Right. So just, you know, don't believe everything they say. And we got to do what we got to do, man. We've been fighting for, you know, our, our level people, all of us out there, the masses, we've been fighting this stuff since the freaking beginning of time. You know, it's not the first time, but Yeah, I'm reading everybody's comment out. There will be a lot of new babies in December. I think the thing about this virus is that it takes so long for you to see symptoms. So it's very good at being a virus. So because of that, it can spread a lot. Stay calm, stay on your toes, however, be safe, take care of your families because of hospitals not being able to handle the load. This is crazy shit. Most of this will be in the poorhouse when it's over. Well, a lot of people will be affected. That's a fact. That is a fact, guys. So I don't know, man. I mean, this is this is a, a global thing you know and who knows this could be just next step cash the society mark of the beast to buy or sell hey you never know i've i've been through i've been down all of those rabbit holes i'm sure a lot of you guys too We have no eggs, milk, or ground beef in our grocery stores as of right now, including toilet paper, hand sanitizer, paper towels. We need to look out for one another and don't let media put us in panic mode. And you know what? I also think the media is turning, is trying to turn all of us against each other. You know, because, I mean, look what happens on Black Friday. You know, like when we go, uh, like I've never participated in these crazy Black Friday events, but I've kind of seen them on YouTube where people are like stampeding each other, elbowing each other, you know, fighting their way to get that Xbox or the TV or whatever. I mean, imagine when people go hungry, dude. So I would advise, you know, stay away from big cities if you can. Um it could get ugly. This whole thing could get ugly, guys. So I don't know. I'll be here. I'll be streaming as long as I can. You know, as long as I can, I'll be on here every Thursday. Um, so if you guys can tune in, that would be nice. We can just we can just say what's up, you know. Buy lots of ammo. Like I can't even go, I can't even get ammo now. Like I can't even get into the gun store. It doesn't matter anymore because. I'm getting out of here. I'm, I'm going to Japan. So hopefully things are okay there. I don't know. I'll report to you guys next week once I'm in Japan. So my lifestyle is now described as quarantine. I live in the mountains away from people and do my own thing. That's a beautiful thing, Stephen. I would be doing the same exact thing if I was in your position and was in the mountains. So... Yeah, I can get flights to Japan. Yep. As of now, we can still fly out. So I, I kind of want to get out 
before I can't get out, if you guys know what I'm saying. According to the cave, we are only truly saved by believing and trusting the gospel of Jesus Christ. With that said, is anybody working on any projects? Like, what are you guys doing? What is everybody doing with their free time? Who's been home lately? Like, who's still going to work and who's at home? Just type in home if you're home, if you've been home, and type in work if you've been actually driving out of your house to work. I kind of want to – let's get a poll here. Like, for me, you guys know I work from home. Work, home, retired, home lately, work, about to paint my Ford. Been home since November. Heard all flights to Asia were, were stopped. Good luck. Well, I don't think so. Not yet. It, they just put an advisory on from what I hear. But I'm trying to get out of here as soon as possible. Thanks. I'll let you know. Home, lost my job two days ago. Stefan, what were you doing? Yeah, the tickets are pretty much the same price. Haven't really went down or up. Just painted my dad's Harley after he laid it down. Awesome, Kent. Wondering how that turned out. Monday, USC will be locked down two weeks. Have 70 PSI at the compressor, air regulator, and with my air control knob all the way open counterclockwise. My gun reads PSI with a pulled trigger. Um, I would definitely check. And it's, it's just an airflow issue. I have to tighten the air control knob clockwise a bunch to get 30 PSI at the trigger. It seems weird. Why does tightening the air control knob increase my pressure? I don't know. Maybe something's wrong with your, your, your knob there. That's kind of odd. Um, bottom of my 09 Honda. Yeah, if you guys have questions, send them in. Let's do some of that right now. How's it from the Big Island? What's up? Bottom of my 09 Honda is pushed in, but metal seems soft. And how do I handle that? Well, Charlie, you basically just want to panel beat it out, get it out as much as you can. Um, with the stud welder, you can pull it out, or if you could get back of it somehow to, to basically punch it out, then that would be your best bet. Get it as flat as possible, and then um, grind it down. And then, well, if you pull it, then you, you probably grinded it down to weld, but have it grinded down before you put some filler on it. I have plenty of projects to keep me busy for a long time. <laughs> Um, should I use self-etching primer or epoxy primer on bare metal that has been media blasted and sanded with 80 grit? Yes, you can, Dano. I have a three-year-old European car, and it has a ton of swirl marks. I have a bunch of shop line urethane clear coat left over and was planning on putting two fresh coats of clear. Is that a bad idea? You could do that, Forby. Um, if you want to put more clear in your car, I would just sand it down with, like, 1000 grit and just put two coats of clear on it you could even go 800 if you wanted to but don't cut through to the base coat because you might mess up your your uh base especially if it's metallic um or you can just buff it out with a good foam buff buffer pinholes bro what causes that in clear coat pinholes well that's kind of odd unless they were caused by some chemical reaction maybe um usually pinholes are in filler and then you'll see it in your base coat if you didn't take care of it and then it could go to the clear coat if you really didn't take care of it um pinholes in clear coat Yeah, it could have been just that area. You had some something on your base coat in that area or something 
some oil somewhere. Oil will cause like a pinhole looking effect. Um, I guess the only thing you could really do is sand it down to get past the pinhole and then re-clear it. I'm sure if you do that, you'll fix the problem. Um, best way to repaint my car, the same color with base coat, clear coat was a single stage before. Um, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It could be like a fisheye pinhole, you know? I mean, that's that's what does it. Hey, guys, I want to show you the brand new Atom spray gun that they just sent me two days ago. Um, it's a preview. It's a preview preview of what's coming. Super nice. I showed you guys a picture of it. But it is the brand new Atom Infinity. Um, check this puppy out. The finish is absolutely amazing on it. It's a multi-tone color. Um, it's freaking badass. So we're going to be able to, um, Zula is going to release this thing in the next, I would say two to three months. It's, they just sent me a sample of it. Uh, to check it out, but it it's not available now, but it will be available soon. Very cool looking spray gun, and um, it's very, very nice. The quality build on this thing is superior, if you guys can see that. Super nice gun. I'm sure you guys are going to like this thing. And the handle, what's nice is the handle actually protrude, it, it gets thicker toward the back. So the grip is really, really nice on it. Like it really fits in your palm. Really nice. And these knobs are like super high quality. So that's just kind of what, what's coming down the pipeline. <laughs> if we all don't end up like Mad Max. <sighs> yeah, it's a nice gun, guys. So, um, if you haven't yet, yes, there will be a VIP discount. Um, I'm working a deal with them. So we're going to be able to get some pre-order discounts going on for some of you guys who want to jump on, um, and, and secure one before it releases to the public. Um, I'm going to be um, sharing it with my subscribers and VIP members down the line. So probably looking at like 60 to 90 days out, hopefully sooner. It's just that I think all of this global stuff is just screwing everything up. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, anyway, oh, the thing is I just put this gun is going to be different than the X27 or X20, it's coming with a 600 milliliter cup, the 650 cup. This is a thousand milliliter. This gun is going to come with the 650, but you can put any cup on it you want, including the uh, disposable cup systems by Quick Cup System. So, yeah, it's actually a, a light gun, but you know, you can put a big cup on it. I like the big because you can fill it up with a lot of material. But some people like to put, you know, the 650 or um, the disposable cup system, which I like as well. So, yeah. Can I get some input on an all-woman body shop? I'm not sure what kind of input you're looking for. I think just do it, you know. <clears throat> um get some hot girls and do it but i don't know man i don't know about that i think um business right now is is taking a hit so if you plan on opening an all-girl body shop i think maybe wait <laughs> for a little while you know how would you go about starting you'd have to secure yourself a bunch of girl auto body girls first and then just get a place come up with a cool name market it 
and do it. I mean, do you have a metal quick cup adapter for the X16? No, only the plastic. Why would you put all the girl? Watch what you input with all the girls. <laughs> Um, yeah, wait about three years. Do you think men would take me serious? I don't see why not. I mean, if you put, you know, when at the end of the day, it just comes down to results. So if you girls can put out awesome body work and awesome paint, then it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. <clears throat> Yeah, do good work. I think you guys have a I think you guys have a advantage because it'll be an all girl body shop, so you would appeal to maybe a lot more women coming in to get their jobs done like motorhead, you know, girl, female motorheads. And also I think you would attract guys bringing their cars there too, you know, to check out the the girls. So I don't know what how you plan on doing it. Like are you guys going to be dressing kind of in tights and stuff like that, doing body work where <laughs> I don't know what your overall vision idea is, you know, I don't know, but <clears throat> I think I agree with Steven right now is the time that you can plan for business opportunities and kind of even get started and execute. Like right now, I think right now is a great time to start an online business because people are home. People don't know what to do. You can learn the skills, focus, you know, start some websites online, start putting out some content, start building out your products, start writing a book. I think right now is a good time for people to get into that and build an online business. I mean, I started my online business in the 2007, 2008 financial crash. That's when I started. Um, I don't think, well, I think it's worse now. You know, I think what's happening now is, is worse because it's, it's a global thing. You know, it's not just the U.S. Last time it was kind of a global thing, but this is more like, this is global shutdown, guys. They're shutting things down. So it's. You know, they're quarantining people, they're telling me to stay home, businesses are closed. I mean, this is this is gonna have a, a pretty big impact, you know, and it's not gonna show right now or the next couple of weeks, but I think I think the worst is yet to come in the next two to four months. You know, the it'll start getting really hit and getting really bad, you know. So <clears throat> Cherry pie girls. <laughs> we would always buy our paint materials from this one paint distributor and they would always send hot chicks to deliver. That's how they kept our business. That's a good little hook if you ask me. Yes, exactly. I, I agree with um, what Dano says. Women all feel comfortable. Her secret body shop. Yeah, this this will kill certain small businesses. But I think certain small businesses can really thrive now. And I think this will kill bigger businesses as well. I think smaller businesses are more are in a better position because they can maneuver and adapt easier than a bigger corporate company can. You know, bigger corporate companies have a lot of politics and they have to go through a lot of layers to make a decision. So I think a lot of big companies are going to close down that don't adapt quick enough. 
I think a lot of small businesses will shut down, but I also think a lot of small businesses will be okay and thrive. Again, it depends on what sector you're in, you know, but um, that's what I think. And yes, people do need transportation, even in the toughest times, you know? Anyway, that's that. Um, I have a mobile paint and body repair business. It's actually picked up over the last few weeks. You know, I've been looking online, like searching for car deals here, even though I'm leaving in a couple days. But I see a lot of deals. I think right now people are also, they're home and they're like, oh, let's just get rid of this car. People are trying to get some extra money. I think right now is going to be a time of fishing as well for good deals. If you guys are sitting on some cash that you want to flip some cars, I think right now is a good time uh, to get really good deals. So I would take Stephen Mitchell's um, advice there. And um, yeah, there's going to be a lot more deals. I don't know if you guys play in the stock market, but I'm like my eyes on like all cruise ship stocks and airline stocks. I kind of got in a little bit and it, they tanked even further. But I think uh, I don't I don't. I, I do not think the travel industry is going to take a shit. I like, I mean, disappear. So it just takes time. No stock market, only real estate. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Well, my brother's like you only, only, um, only real estate. So, um, where am I? I think, I do think there's a ton of opportunity in stocks though. Precious metals has taken a big dump too. Usually in times of havoc like this, gold and silver will go up in pricing, but let's see where we at today with gold and silver. How come I don't see any silver pricing here? I use Kitco. So silver is at 1228 right now. Yeah, that's why I think if we don't know what we're doing, I think it's good to be diversified and have a little bit of everything. If you can be that diversified. So, like me, I got a little bit of everything. I got crypto, stocks, gold and silver, some real estate. But times are going to get tough, guys. So just hang in there. It's all we can do you know, and be calm and um, not lose hope. What's up? What's up? What's up, guys? Awesome, Bonnie and Clyde. I like your screen name, by the way. I think you'll do good. You just got to get out there and do it. You know? Gather your team and um, start small and just do it. Just start putting on good work. And I think with social media, you guys can really market and bootstrap. You know what I mean? Just income. So it sounds like you are in a great spot. 
What was your name again? I'm so sorry. Asus. A I C S U S A. What's what's your uh, name again? You told me once. Was it David? Okay, David Miller. What's going on, David Miller? Where do you live, David? There's so many guys I talk to on here. Sometimes I forget. I liquidate my stocks, hoping economy gets lower so I can buy back in. In the meantime, I want to pick up a nice gold chain. <laughs> LA, California. So how are things in Los Angeles right now? Like, for, you know, when you look at it, like, how are things? Kind of curious how LA is. Don't know if that's the place I want to be, but <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Guys, if you haven't hit the like button, hit the like button. Store shelves are empty. Starting like Tony with body work and paint flips seems to be a good way to go. Yeah, a lot of homeless here in Hawaii too, man. Is getting a little adhesion promoter on bare metal okay before epoxy primer? I wouldn't put adhesion promoter on that. I would just have it grinded, sanded, and just wipe it down and put some put your epoxy right on top of that. Adhesion promoter is more for like plastic. Yeah, we probably got some VIPs in the house tonight. A good handful, I would think. How many VIPs on the line tonight? Oh, God. I got to get back to uh, getting my tickets. Um. Right now we're doing an annual membership for VIP for 47 bucks, which is a deal. Or you can get lifetime for 129. It's up to you. But there's a ton of ton of information in there. I'll give you I'll give you the link in case you non-VIP guys want to check it out. But whatever. It's all good. Anyway, good luck on that ticket. Well, buying the ticket is not a problem because I could buy the ticket right now. It's just that, can I fly out? Yeah, guys, smash that like button. Um, I'm pretty much packed. Crazy in New Zealand, huh? What is the best for pitted metal? Body filler than glaze putty? Yeah, I would actually, you could 2K prime it or epoxy prime it. Try to fill it with some epoxy primer. And then if needed, scuff that with like a 150, then put some putty on it. Flatten it out and then put some 2K filler primer on it. It's just a little adhesion promoter on the bare metal because I didn't take off plastic bone. Do I need now? Nah, you should be fine, Forby. Um, do I need a visa? No, they automatically give me a 90 day visa when I go. Um, it helps because my wife is Japanese, my kids are Japanese, my kids got Japanese passports and all. So, um, Yes, I agree. From Hawaii to Japan, there's it's is a lot easier. Um, I actually went to Waikiki today to drive around, and I still saw a good amount of Japanese people still here, and they're probably going to be um, leaving soon, I would think, because our governor is telling people not to come to Hawaii if you really don't have to. So, I don't know. I'll be on, guys. I'll be on next week with you guys from Japan. We might be changing up the times because of the time zone because I'm going to be there now. But actually, we could probably still do it because it's at, it's 10 
it's 10 o'clock a.m. in Japan right now. So I'll just be getting on earlier with you guys. So 10 a.m. my time would be around here. So if we went earlier, 9 o'clock my time, it'll be to it'll be 8 p.m. Eastern. So that still works out. Uh, my my oldest son is Japanese. Awesome. Yeah, good, man, Forby. Spray it and keep me posted. <clears throat> All right, guys, I'll keep you posted. I am actually doing a vlog. I'm recording. Like yesterday, I made a little video in my room here, like talking to you guys of what, I, what I'm doing. Um, recorded some stuff here. I'm going to record the airport. I'm going to record the flight. I'm going to record getting into Japan. So we'll have a vlog next week sometime of the whole me moving to Japan process. But I got to tell you, you know, I am lucky that I have an internet business where I can just go if I have to. And I do have my masks and I bet you the flight will be pretty much empty. So, you know, I'm not worried about getting um, bombarded with a bunch of people, you know, but I'm going to do it. I'm leaving with my daughter, my, my 11 year old, and we're going to go, we're going to go see mom and we're going to go see my daughter, my six-year-old Allie girl, and I'll have an update with you guys with my whole family next week. How's that? I'll even have my wife and um, Allie jump on with us if you guys want, just to say hi. All right, guys. So thank you so much. Um, I'll see you guys on next week, Thursday, and then hopefully things are good. And we will talk about auto body. I'll show you Japan. Um, is your wife the hottie posing in front of the Mazda? No, that's not my wife. My wife is hotter. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you. Thanks for jumping on. Hit the like button if you haven't. I'll talk to you next week, Thursday, and then I will be vlogging from Japan as well. All right. I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks for jumping on. Have a good night, everybody. Take care and um, stay calm. And uh, yeah. Talk to you soon. Peace. Peace, guys. Have a good night. See you guys next week.